Well, good evening, beautiful, amazing people on Facebook. I'm so delighted to be with you this beautiful Thursday evening. I have had such a busy day. Um, I'm blessed. I was able to do uh, two, actually, two, um, two lessons this, today and two uh, sing-alongs for children. And there is nothing, honestly, that brings me more joy than seeing children. My only heartache is that I cannot see them in person. <laughs> But it's okay. I'm going to hang on in there for now. Um, a big shout out, as always, to Cayman Brack, Grand Cayman, Little Cayman, the big US of A, our lovely states of Texas. I do love Texans. They are so awesome. And California. First place I ever visited. Loved California. It was absolutely amazing. Fallon, that's probably what made me fall in love with the USA, actually. And, um, of course, DC, Virginia. The UK. Canada. South Africa, Zimbabwe, Jamaica, Guyana, Suriname, Barbados, and Australia. A big warm welcome to everybody. And thank you for all of those of you who have been following this for a while. As you know uh, from the history, as I told you before, uh, this was never supposed to be going on as long as it was. I just was so pleased that so many people found comfort from this. And almost every day I get either a message from someone saying how comforting they find these um, uh, gospel songs or just somebody who said they were looking for something positive on Facebook and came across my video. So that really is is wonderful to know that it's it's blessing so many people in so many ways. I, I have to say that that absolutely delights me, which is why I continue it on uh, once a day now. I am going to share with you first a beautiful reading from Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7 and then get into the gorgeous song that I have for you today. I love this song. It really fills me with a wondrous sense of God's peace. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7, it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Well, I don't know about any of you out there, but I can tell you that particular verse has blessed me numerous times in my walk with Christ. And especially as my faith was deepening, because there were times when I just didn't know, was I doing the right thing? Had the decision I made, was it correct? But there were times when I just felt God's peace and I knew that God was in it. I knew it. And the outcome was always a good one. So let me get into this beautiful song. I learned this at the Dominican convent, which is a school that I attended when I was growing up in Harare, Zimbabwe as a young child. And um, this song has always been such a peaceful, peaceful song. It is written by a gentleman called, oh, I forgot his name now, Kevin Mayhew. And I hope I got his name right, Kevin Mayhew. Uh, let me look it up if you don't mind. I really thought I had it right. <sighs> names. Some of you know that names are not my thing, as in, you know, if I don't see something written, sometimes I can forget. Um, but... But the version that I found here, Kevin Mayhew, that's right, thank you. Um, the version that I, I have found here seems to have a few more verses than I recall him having, but that doesn't matter. They're beautiful, beautiful verses. So I'm going to get into the song, and then I hope that you will just enjoy it. So please sit back, relax, absorb some peace, absorb some of God's goodness, and just breathe. Just sit back and close your eyes and receive.
well. I hope everyone was feeling extra blessed by just hearing that song. I don't know about you, but I felt very much at peace, very much um, full of faith, very hopeful and joyful actually too, and filled with love. So I hope that everybody who listens to this was feeling exactly the same way, if not more. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Good night. God bless you all.